Over the course of time, I'm going to go a lot into the development teams and technicians that made Pixar what it is. Uh, but before I do, uh, there's one individual I'd like to talk about in particular. In each Pixar movie, the company makes new technological leaps and innovations that push the industry forward. But who is ultimately responsible for this trend? Pixar is also known for its creative culture and willingness to put the artists in control of their million dollar machines. Who is responsible for making Pixar the company it is? It's the co-founder of Pixar, and it's company president, Edwin Earl Catmull. Ed Catmull may not be a familiar name to the average film goer, but to Silicon Valley, he's a legend. I think the right way to put it is that Ed Catmull is the Steve Jobs of the film industry. Um, I would challenge you to name a company that has produced nine consecutive box office blockbusters in a row. <laughs> And maybe you start to understand what a big deal Pixar is to people in the industry. Ed Catmull is actually a computer science major and PhD, responsible for helping to develop major software innovations, all driven by his love for computer animation. His greatest achievement was the development of the RenderMan software that Pixar uses for all its movies, and is now being used throughout the industry. He's received numerous awards for his achievements, uh, especially the stuff that he's done at Pixar. And while all this commercial and industrial success is great, my major appreciation for Ed Catmull actually comes from how he runs Pixar Animation Studios. It seems to me that in our stock-driven culture, we tend to look at companies monolithically as corporations that produce like a factory. I don't think that's how we should define these brands and logos, in spite of modern marketing. A company is defined not just by its products, but by its people more than anything. And Ed Catmull, I feel, understands that. He has created a culture at Pixar that not only demands the best from its production, the culture is always growing and looking for new ideas. I think that's why Pixar shorts are so interesting, uh, that even in the early days of Pixar's massive debt, there were no simple tech demos. There was a clear level of exploration and imagination in its stories. Now, is Ed Catmull solely responsible for the success of Pixar? Of course not. Is Steve Jobs solely responsible for the success of Apple? No. That's how it works. Pixar is a collaborative company. A lot of companies are. And Pixar, specifically, is full of amazing people. And its president, Ed Catmull, should be proud. I'll see you in the ending credits. See your face coming through.